everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your word. The Bible says it is sharper than any two-edged sword. Again, also your word tells us that man cannot live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. And so here we are in your presence. May you minister to us. May you feed us. And as we get out of this place, we will be fully satisfied because you have fed us and you're feeding us with your word. And also I pray, may we also, you know, help us again through the help of your spirit to obey your word and to walk in it so that we can be able to overcome every challenge and every temptation that is out there. Father, we thank you and we praise your name. Use me as a vessel, even to reach to your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, uh, from verse 12. Na Bible in Asema Hivi. Not that I have already obtained this, or I'm already perfect. But I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward, to what lies ahead. Verse 14. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Verse 15. Let those of us who are mature think this way and if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ah, nataka ni zungumze. I want to speak about pressing on or keep pressing on. Kushikilia kama Kiswahili itaingia hivi. Wewe shikilia, kushikilia, you know, not giving up. Now, friends, there are many times we have begun something and somehow along the way, the strength to continue faded. The grace to go on like Imeisha. You are praying for something and here it came. You began and you knew very well that I will make it. And for your information, nobody begins something with the intention of failing. Wana sifiwe sana. Kuna mtu wanza kitu wakiwa najua nitaanguka? Sidani. Hakuna mtu wanza ndoa, akijua ya kwamba kuna mali tafika kiumani ya rafu nitoke. Sidani kama kunaye. There isn't. It's nobody who begins a business now unajua kwamba mali itafika kiumane mimi nitatoka nitaacha na nitafunga hakuna I know that everyone who begins something they begin with very good intention of going to the very end or going to the finishing line look at our athletes wale watu ukimbia anapoambiwa on to your marks get set alafu anaambiwa go Hakuna mwenye mawazo yake uwe inajua kwamba nikienda round mbili na nafaa kwenda tano nione ni kama mimi wa mwisho nitatoka hakuna mtu uanza hivyo mtu ujikuta tu praise the name of jesus so there are many times it has happened to us maybe in business in faith also there are people who have begun who have come to christ 
and hakuna uh, sidhani kuna mwenye kuokuwa anasema kwamba naokoka lakini kifika mali kuna kitu nataka kufanya na nikia na penda na si kizuri nitarudi nyuma sidhani kuna mtu kama huyo so i say speak about keeping pressing on or moving on and not giving up i may be speaking to someone here i might be speaking to myself as well so sometimes we feel so much tired along the way and because of that you know you know being so much tired we give up we fail to keep on we fail to press on Now when I speak about pressing on meaning that I am continuing ni naendelea siachi And I've said we all begin with a very good intention to complete but when our strength fades we give up And therefore I know I've, I'm talking to people who began something and uh, or even you're in the process of something and somehow somehow you're feeling like i am giving up umejaribu umechoka ni nasikia sasa this one i would rather stop it i am tired someone say i'm fed up please don't give up lightly or so easily the bible encourages us to keep on and especially us who are in christ jesus to keep on and never to give up bwana yesu asifiwe sana now the scriptures ambayo tumesoma Paul the servant of God is one man who has a very great history a history of persecuting the church and a history of being one of the great apostles of the New Testament and so in Philippians chapter 3 ambayo tumesoma uh, he's trying actually to speak to people to tell them you know to speak to people about the righteousness of God which comes through faith in Christ Jesus akaongeresha mambo mengi sana na akaongea pia kusema anatamani kujua Kristo na vile ambavyo Kristo alifufuka kutoa kwa wafu this is somebody who was a persecutor of the church this is somebody who never knew Christ but the moment he came to Christ alibadilika yeye wote and that's why the bible says in some verse that he had a great zeal of persecuting the church But also when he came to Christ he has a great zeal to serve Christ because he has been transformed he has now come into another kingdom a kingdom of Christ where Christ is a king and this Jesus is helping him to continue manifesting what is in him or the grace that is in him of apostleship of serving the Lord regardless of the challenges because i can tell you If there's somebody who served the Lord with so many challenges it was Paul he was going through a lot of challenges but the grace of God was getting sufficient over his life every now and then every day now in verse 12 I'm about to mesoma he says now brethren i am i now not that i have already obtained this rather he has not obtained what his goal is because we are talking about pressing on or straining toward the goal so when he is encouraging people with all these encouragements he is not saying that i have reached where i want to reach sijafika mali ambapo ninataka kufika but there is one thing i know he says but i press on to make it my own i am making all the determination i am very much determined that i have to go on and on and on until the day of christ jesus until i get to the mark of perfection vanessa as if you are son in fact he says i do not consider that i have made it my own but there's one thing i do i forget what lies behind now what he says by what lies behind i tend to think it is the life that he lived before it was not a good one it was not an easy one even after he came to christ there were many times he was going through the challenges but anasema hivi i choose not to concentrate on where i am coming from i choose not to concentrate 
on my failures. I choose not to concentrate on my past. Yes, I have made mistakes. I have persecuted the church. I have been a disgrace. Nimekuwa chukizo. Even to the church. As a matter of fact, kuna watu walikuwa na muona wanaona kifo. Yeah? So anasema, hizo vitu zote, mimi sitaangalia nyuma, niziangalie, nione mali ambapo nimetoka, nivunjike moyo. Because what he is actually telling us, if he purpose to look back and see what he was doing or the life that he led before, he would have, he would have been discouraged. He would not have pressed forward. And so he says, I... But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Hallelujah. Nina sahau yote aliofanyika, sasa ninatazama mbele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And let me tell you brethren, there are many times in our journey of faith, like we are in, many people have fallen Many people have not reached to the level that God wants them to be where else he had all the instruments of, of, of you getting there. But many people have not gotten there simply because they have looked back and they have been discouraged. They have looked back and whatever was, you know, the whatever life they were living back there, imewaita nyuma, imewavuta, imewabia, hey, come, things are a little bit better a little bit better here. And so they think, kama kule kulikuwa kuzuri, maari nimefika ni kama ninachoka, ni kama nasikia kudidimia, ni kama nasikia kugive up. The moment you look back, unajua kuangalia nyumi inakani kuteremuka, so it may be easier. But I'm telling you, that is the beginning of the downfall. That is the beginning of the many frustrations that you will encounter at one point or another. Now, the moment you look back, itakuwa ngumu kufikia kilele Ama kufika mahali ambapo ulikusudia ufike. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is why Paul says, I have decided, I have made up, I have, you know, made up my mind that I will press on. I will not look back. And I'm here to encourage you, brother. Many of us, some of us here, we have an history. We have an history of where we are coming from. But that is none of our business now. Our business is where we are going. Bwana sifiwe sana. There are people who have lived even here and listening to me wherever you're listening. You've lived a life of frustrations. Bad life. Bad life. Evil life. That does not mean ya kwamba utafika mahali ambapo mungu wa mekusudia ufike ama pia mahali ambapo we unataka kufika. You just need to make up your mind like Paul who says I am not looking Behind, what lies behind is none of my business. My great business that I've got to work for, it is what lies ahead. So he says, now, I press on toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Nina chuchumia, nina angalia mbele, nikijua kwamba maali ambapo zawadi yangu. Ama ni nacho fikia kiko mbele ya kiko nyuma. He says this. I press on to one the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So mwito alio nao. Wanesu asifiwe sana. Mwito alio nao. Ni wakupokea kile ambacho mungu amemwekea katika Kristo Yesu. Praise the name of Jesus. Paul is a great motivation to us. Paul is a great motivation to us. Na nilianza kusema, sometimes many of us, we have started a journey and tumefika mahali because of the frustrations. We have tumechoka and we want to get back. Tuna give up na tunataka kurudi nyuma because we have been frustrated. May God help you not to be frustrated. May God give you the grace to handle the frustrations. Because when frustrations come and you don't have the capacity to handle them, 
There are people who want to be in church, but because they have been frustrated, they find themselves not going to church. There are people who have begun prayer, praying over something and trusting God over something. And in between their time of praying, because it's like their prayer is not coming, they feel, no, I have prayed for way too long and nothing is happening. And so they get back or they just say, enough is enough. Let God answer when he will. Please, do not give up. Press on. And the moyo. You are praying for that job, please. And the layer. Umeenda kazi imekatika. That is not the head of you. There's another better opportunity waiting for you. Bana si fiwe sana. You go knock a door. The door does not open. Get to the other door. Keep on pressing on. Bana si fiwe sana. You may fight as though you are not growing even in your faith. But let me tell you this. As long as you still believe in God, you are praying. You are reading the word. You are fellowshipping. You are walking in obedience to what you know, what you have heard. Please keep on. Don't give up. Wana si fiwe sana. You are praying for an issue. Hata kama ni afya yako. Afya ya unao wapenda. In even the issues that we are praying about our nation. We will keep on believing, praying, and trusting God until things will work. Wana si fiwe sana. I was telling you when we were praying, I heard someone talk of, you know, where are you now, church? You know, where are we? We cannot see you. We cannot feel you. No, we are there. We are still very much alive. We do not wage war the way the world does. Wana Yesu asifiwe sana. Vita tupigani the way the world does. And that is why there is a world, there is a kingdom. These are two different people. You have to know yourself. I have to understand yourself and know your battleground. And know your enemy also. Hallelujah. As a church, we need to know our enemy. As a child of God, need to know your enemy. Your enemy is not the president. In fact, you make him an enemy, you are, I think you are the worst. Our enemy, our adversary, the Bible says, he is the devil. Your neighbor is here, do you Your business neighbor is not your enemy. No. We only have one enemy. The devil who caused, who caused all the chaos and the fall of man and everything. Bona Isis Fiesa. So in this race, because we're in the race of life. We're in the race of life. Usichoke Diani. Okay? Usichoke Wapi? Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Ebutu some pale and and just 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 get to hear what the scripture says. A powerful scripture here. Bible in Asema. Since therefore, since we are surrounded by so Great, a cloud of witness. Let us also lay aside every weight and the sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, for who for the joy that was said before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Tuko na mashahidi wengi sana ambao wametuzunguka. Bibi nasema ya kwamba tuachane na vioto, tuziweke kando, uzito wote ambao ni dhambi Mambo ambazo zinatufunga. Tuweke vitu vyote kando. Kanisa. Mambo yote yanayo tufunga. Mambo yote ambayo haituonyeshi kwa mungu ama jia zake mungu. Na biblia kasema hivi. Let us run with endurance the race that is before us. Tuende, tukimbie 
katika hali ya, ya, ya uvumilivu katika safari hii tuliyoko ndani yake so in this journey with the many challenges that we will encounter we cannot afford to stop we have to run with the doers because the doers Jesus will give the grace of us enduring the many challenges so keep on pressing on in that particular area of need that you have don't give up don't give up run with determination everyone who is on the race they are determined to do what to win now in that race that you are in because all of us in one way or another we are in the race of life what are you determined to in the race that you are in i pray for the grace to be more determined bona sifia san more determined let's let's let's, let's go back to corinthians first corinthians and i want you after this please go through these scriptures in depth you be able to see quite a lot that the lord will be ministering to you just to encourage you that you don't have to give up you don't have to give up on that marriage you don't usi 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 kufe matumaini kwa hiyo ndoa usi kufe matumaini kwa kutafuta hiyo job bwana asifiwe sana i hata ukienda utafuta i thank god i see someone here we were praying with the other day anaenda interview sijui alipita ama ikupita but nonetheless kulipita huko pita press on mutieni moyo wa kusema amen press on even if that door didn't open another one will open and if that door open god is able to create more better doors by faith if we press on if we do not give up if you quit then uh inakuwa hivyo so first corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24 listen to what paul is saying to us speaking to us on what the lord is speaking to us do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one receives the prize hallelujah so run that you may obtain it every athlete exercises self control in all things hebu kwanza niachie hapo do you not know je kwani amjui ya kwamba katika mbio wote wanaokimbia i mean wengi ukimbia katika mbio wengi ukimbia katika mbio lakini ni mmoja tu anayepokea ile gold In every race there are no two gold, gold gold medals. It's only one gold medal. It's only one bronze medal. It's only one silver medal. One, moja tu. Na hiyo inachukulia ngwa na mtu mmoja. In a race. Now, what happens? So, baada ya Paulo kupatia na mfano akasema hivi, so run that you may obtain it. What? The prize kimbia mbio ndio ukianza sababu unajua unataka kufika wapi <laughs> utapokea zawadi baada ya kufanya nini ya kufika mwisho ukifika mwisho ndio utapokea zawadi now many of us tunataka kupokea gold tukiwa jiani <laughs> look at that is it possible yani uko kwa mbio ya 100 meters na ukifika 90 unataka upatiwe zawadi na ukikosa zawadi una give up una feel ah kwa nini nimalize labda hata sitapewa unachoka unakaa chini you be disqualified you not get it the qualification even as the scripture is showing us for you to receive the prize is after you are done with the race and you see in the school of god in the competition of god in the race of god hakuna corruption hakuna kuiba line hawezi ukaiba line Tukiwa shule nilikuwa na watu wikimbia kuna mtu alikuwa anafika mali anaona uh, anaweza anaweza ingia kwa line ya mwingine 
ndiyo aweze kufika mwisho kwenye anataka kufika sometimes there are those who could have your way because hakuna nini hakuna kamera zinaangalia na anajikuta tu ameshinda lakini sio sio halari but in the school of the lord in the race of god there is no way unaweza ibia ni mpaka ufike mwisho for you to receive now look at what the bible says uh, every athlete exercises self control in all things now in this race lazima mwenye anayekimbia kuna vitu lazima aweze kujitahidi kwazo kwa sababu mtu mwenye ukimbia hamkangi sisi siku moja anasema ninaenda Boston Marathon These guys they keep practicing every day Bwana sifiwe sana katika mbio zile wanazokimbia they practice every day kuna discipline wako nayo hao watu wa kulangi viazi kila siku chipo hao watu kuna maz, kuna vitu wa wakuli kuna vitu wanakula ndio their bodies have to be physically fit for them to be able to run the race to the very end so even in us there are some disciplines lazima tukue nazo as we are on this race of life either the race to one's your own goals or the race to heaven kuna discipline prayer is number one. the word of god is another obedience is another prayer the word of god and obedience banesos fia san so he says they do it the self control that they have they do it to receive a perishable wreath wanakimbia ndio wapokee zawadi inayoweza kuisha but we an imperishable wreath lakini sisi tunaokimbia katika imani katika you know sa, you know the, the journey of safari imani hii we are doing it to receive a reward a prize ambayo haiozi bwana asifiwe sana zawandi haiozi haiweziisha so i pray may you work hard may you keep pressing on until you receive that so I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air. But I discipline my body and keep it under control. Lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. So Paul is very careful even by himself. He knows kuna uwezekano nitawahubiria watu nitawachocha watu na mimi mwenyewe nikose nikose mbingu. He says no. That is not me. I am working hard pressing toward the goal of preaching heaven. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 4 and from verse 7. Paul says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me but also to all who have love his appearing bwana yesu asifiwe sana so paul amejanarize amehubiri amepea watu neno amewahubiria katika changamoto mingi sana za maisha ikafika mahali akawaambia hivi mimi nimepigana vita vyangu vizuri nimekimbia nimemaliza mbio yangu praise the name of jesus Paul puts all his strength actually he puts all his strength and presses with great determination to finish the course and win the prize Katika safari yetu ya imani wapendwa changamoto zinakuwa mingi na ziko mingi lakini tusikubali kutoka mbioni Can I tell you this? Ukiwa mbioni ukute mahali katikati umechoka alafu 
nafikirie kurudi ati upumzike alafu ndio urudi tena unaanzaka pale mwisho Hakuna vile utasema wacha ni wacha nikae chini nipumzike ni, ni, ni alafu niendelee na, na mbio a a it has to be continuous Afadhali uslow tu kidogo kidogo bora unaenda lakini ukisimama you miss it and so i'm encouraging you church i'm encouraging you my brother my sister press on and do not give up usichoke jiani you may pray and pray and pray you may fast and fast you may consult and consult you may be encouraged from every corner don't give up keep on ukifika mwisho utapokea zawadi yako you receive it and that is this is in every sphere of life either in business either in a relationship either in marriage the right relationship either in marriage either in even in ministry we will keep on we will press on because kuna taji tunaenda kuchukua pale mbele and as paul said i will not look back ukiangalia nyuma nilikwambia huko ndio watakuita ukiangalia nyuma you will not be encouraged in fact nyuma there are all forms of discouragement but may the lord encourage you even as you look ahead and may it be well with you so as paul says i press on towards on toward the goal for the price of the upward call of god in christ jesus there is something that the lord has for every one of us even as we continue believing and putting our total confidence in him so ukikutana changamoto baada ya ibada hii wewe juu ya kwamba uko na jukumu kubwa la kungangana cha kabisa cha za kuchutumia even if you feel injured please don't stop afadhali uende ukilimpu afadhali uende ukilimpu bora ufike mwisho don't be among those who give up easily don't be among those who are discouraged and whenever discouragement will come brother sister encourage yourself in the lord amen father in the name of your son jesus christ i want to thank you through your servant paul and lord god you is encouraging us today to keep encouraging ourselves in the lord and to press on many times we have failed to press on because of the many discouragements that we have encountered but lord we choose to encourage ourselves in you and so this morning in the name of jesus this afternoon i pray that in one among us to serve here has been discouraged in a way or another and they have failed to press on to continue on to what they began lord i pray that you may release your grace upon every one of us in jesus name and maybe someone who is almost giving up here over any particular thing labda ni ndoa labda ni kazi labda ni biashara ama jambo lolote lile ambalo ni kusudi lako kwao na nasikia kupoteza matumaini naomba Mungu ukamtie nguvu in the mighty name of Jesus even for someone may be feeling to give up because of the way the situations in our country are and they are feeling that they can just go back lord may you release the grace to press on may you release the strength to press on for them that have no strength Lord may you give them strength and may the grace of you be sufficient upon everyone and may your word take full control over every one of us today we thank you and we praise you in Jesus name we pray and we give thanks kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na tumeamini so may God give you the grace to press on may God give you the strength to press on and tafadhali usife moyo haraka what happens or what makes many not to press on it is when they are discouraged na naomba pia mungu wewe unayenisikia don't be a vessel that will be used to discourage others can i repeat that 
Usikue chombo kitakacho tumika kuvunja moyo wengine. Haleluya. Jaribu kwa vyo vyote vile. Kwa vyo vyote? Kutia mtu moyo. Ok? Situko pamoja? Ni kuonyesha tamfano mwingine sa isa hii wapenyoneza tia mtu moyo? Ama niache? Niache? Nionyeshe? Hata wakati pasta na ubiri hapa. Nuhu nasikia kulala. Niendele? Aa. Niendele? Eh, hey, hata wakati unasikia kulala. Unaweza tia mtu pasta moyo. Kwa kutolala. Ukisipo, uyu tanitia moyo. But if you don't encourage me, I'll be like, ah, wacha tuni malize ikitu. Si hapo ni sawa. Yeah, honestly, let's, let's be an encouragement. Let's encourage one another. In the simplest way you can. Ndiyo yu mtu atafil kuendelea. Eh, atafil kuendelea to the next level. 